the camera and the touch more light. Okay, so now here is what you're going to make. This is what your circuit's going to look like. But you're not going to use a battery. You're going to use your own wall wart at home or the one here at school. We've got about 20 in there that are 24 volts, which I can just get out. They drive the little computers. So I've got a whole lot of them, but we haven't. Then we're going to take, do you know what one of those is? What are those? Resistors, your favorite thing, the examiner's favorite thing. We're going to take, I bought 200 ohm resistors. This is 6 volts. Then it's going to go to a nail, a nail, and a nail. Three nails. One nail there, one nail there. So all together we've got five nails. Then it's going to come back via an LED and this is going to glow under certain circumstances. So let's insert our transistor. So our transistor symbol is a circle like that. And it has a thing called a base. It has a thing called an emitter and it has a thing called a collector. Three legs. The emitter has got a little arrow that looks like that, and the collector is just a little line. Okay, so I bought a box of these transistors, 600 of them, they're about, 20, about 33 cents each. You're gonna use one that only takes a current of up to 0.15 amps which is plenty, it's the same one I'm using. Now, how then will the circuit work? Now, do you see that the arrow is pointing inwards towards the base? That is what we call... I think I'm talking rubbish here. I'm really talking rubbish here. We're going to put the emitter there. The arrow is going to point in that direction, so we're going to put the collector here, and we're going to put the emitter there. And the current is going to flow like this, from positive, through that resistance, through that, it flows in the direction of the arrow, and then it flows through the LED, makes it glow, and then comes back. So this emitter points, in this case, in the direction of the conventional current. This is what we call an NPN transistor. Now what is meant by an NPN transistor? N stands for negative, P stands for positive, N stands for negative again. The main thing is look at the central Look at the central letter. That will tell you whether the base must be positive or negative for the transistor to switch on. Okay? Must it be negative or must it be positive? Because you get another type of transistor called a PNP transistor. Now, this one says P. So let's just write here. This N P N transistor needs the base to be <coughs> positive and then the transistor is like a closed switch. It is like a closed switch. When the, when the base is negative,
the transistor is like an open switch. Okay, so all that the, the transistor is going to do is again to open or close the circuit. So how does it work? Well, you're going to put your finger between here. So say I take my finger. There's my finger. There's my finger now. And I touch it like that. What is my finger going to act like? Especially if I lick it. It's going to act like a resistance. Or a conductor, a bad conductor. It would be like putting a resistor here. And now what happens is this was positive because it's attached to the positive side of the battery. The base now becomes positive and the little light blows. So we see light. Does that make sense? So what is happening is by putting my finger or your finger between that nail and that nail, you're biasing the base positive because this is the top side is positive, bottom side is negative. Now, if I do the reverse thing, if I put my finger now between there and there, do you think it's going to go on or not? No, it's going to stay off. And that's how your transistor, that's like a brief introduction to transistors. And that's the circuit you're going to make. You're just going to play with it and see if you can turn it on or off. By putting your finger between the collector and the base, and between the emitter and the base. And that so it will turn on or off and your light will come on or off. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Okay. So everyone's going to get a little, just like a circuit board. It's got two. So let me just draw it how it's going to look. It's going to have two nails, one there, one there, the top one is going to be your positive nail. Now you're going to have to knock in a small nail and cut it off. You're going to have to cut off the head of that positive nail so that it can fit into this very small little hole. Does that make sense? So here's the little nails, but you're going to be given a resistor that you must push into the hole. You must push the resistor into the hole here, and the resistor is going to look like this. And it's going to go to a long nail that's going to hold your transistor. And there's going to be the three long nails. So here's going to be a small nail, that's going to be your negative, but you leave the head on for the small nail. But the first thing you've got to do is you've got to put the, top, the resistor in there, knock that in, cut off the head. You can't knock this one in yet because you won't get the pliers in to cut off the head. Make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then... Just let me remove these nails just for a moment. Now, what does your transistor look like? It looks like a little semicircular thing like that. So it's semicircular and it's got one. It's got three legs. You're going to have to just put the legs in the hole. So, the first leg is the base. You're going to have to bend that leg backwards into the hole that sticks up. This leg 
is the collector leg and it's going to go into that whole leg. This leg is the emitter leg, it's going to go into this hole. So there's your three holes. Then you're going to take your diode, which looks like this. You're going to put the short leg in that hole. You're going to put the long leg in the positive hole. The short leg of a diode always goes to negative. And then you draw a nail in. You're going to put your nail in there with a head. A long nail. I don't want to draw it in a long nail. And there's going to be another long nail in there. And then that's it. Won't take you long to do. And then you can come and test it out. Um, I think we only have one plug today. But, and you know, you're going to just have to wash your hands. Sterilize. So, I'll give you the thing. Put it together. If you want to sterilize your blocky, you can. But you're just going to have to put it together, then sterilize after that. Okay. So everyone happy with that? Know what to do? Any questions? So let's just find something to carry on. With. <laughs> No, it's not. 
So it's an arrow pointing to the left. Now take your resistor. Put it into the top, this hole here. Put it into this hole. So there's your resistor in there. That's the positive. So look, I put it in there, in the top hole. Then, I take a nail, I put it into the same hole where I put the resistor, I bend the resistor down and I donor it with the pliers. Okay, then I cut off the head. Be careful because the head flies and it can blind you. You can see a there. Okay, so don't point it. So don't point it at anybody. Okay, so you you all got what you got to do. Go off. Okay, just let me try this again. I haven't run out of space. There's brighter. Um, you want some liquid? There it goes off. Oh. 